This is how I can near enough guarantee that you are going to lose business. At least if you do what I'm about to explain to you in this video. And at least from me and anyone else that values their privacy, like me. So welcome back to the channel, but if you're new to me, I'm a barrister who helps you understand law. And in this video, a significant warning about the handling of personal data, tracking them online, and something that I'm personally quite offended by. So listen to this. So I was browsing the internet just recently because if you haven't noticed, I'm in a different room recently and I would like to change the desk that I'm sitting at. So I was browsing online for some desks, executive desks. I'd like a nice desk for this room. So I was looking at a particular website and to be quite honest, I liked the look of the furniture on the website, but I can absolutely guarantee that I'm not going to be buying from this website for the reasons I'll discuss in this video. The reason being is that they've lost complete and all trust from me because of what happened. Now, remember I said I was just browsing the website, nothing more. I closed the website because I got distracted by something else, work probably, but then a full day later, I received the following email. Hi, Daniel Shensmith. That's my name. I don't make any secret about what my name is. Hope you are well and keeping safe. I'm thinking, well, who's Rishi and why am I receiving your email? It looked a little bit like spam at first, but I do indulge to see what kind of content it is and how they got my details. My name is Rishi and I'm one of the directors at, that's the company I was looking at the furniture for, an online executive furniture company. Now here's the bit that really annoyed me. We noticed that Shensmith Law might be looking for some executive desks. We know this because we have subscribed to software which tells us the companies that visited our website and it's GDPR compliant. Now just pausing there for a moment, yes I did browse the website, yes I do know that cookies exist and they can track things like your IP address and so on, but I did not click that I consent to these cookies because I don't. I go through the option of saying I don't agree to these things or I just ignore them completely. Cookies are little tracking files that when you visit a website, they store it on your computer, they scoop together some information and feed it back to the person that runs the website. But in this case, I do happen to know because I looked it up, this company in particular uses another company that takes that IP address, feeds it into other software and looks up online whether there's any other tracking information between that IP address and an email address or the company that's visited the website. In this case, me. So in this scenario, I visited this website. I did not consent to any tracking cookies. The website has stored the IP address, fed it into this other software. They've taken that and ultimately found either my company name, my company address or my email address through some other kind of database or whatever that this IP address has been shared with. If any of this is news to you, you might want to think both your browsing habits and the poll that you might have taken part in just recently. In fact, just over 10,000 odd of you voted on that poll just recently, and I was quite surprised by the results because 54% of you said that you don't care and that they're annoying. So presumably you don't really care that these companies are tracking your information and you'd just rather do without the pop-ups. Whereas 46% of you said that you prefer to be asked so you've got the opportunity to accept or reject them. However, the big issue here is that he said that this software is GDPR compliant, which it most certainly is not because IP addresses are personal information for the purposes of GDPR. Remember, personal information is any information which taken by itself or in combination with any other bits of information can identify a living individual. In this case, an IP address is certainly in that category. It can identify an individual. So back to my email from Rishi. Rishi has obviously got his website running with cookies, which are tracking various bits of information. He's obviously gleaned enough information to find out who I am, what company I work for, but then here's where it gets even better. Not only did he send me an email which was unsolicited without having consented to any marketing emails, which is prohibited by the way, I'll come back to that in a moment, but he also sent our clerk a personal email and he sent my wife a personal email. They were not even on the website, much less clicked any consent for cookies. Now, I'm not against marketing per se, and cold email marketing is not necessarily restricted by GDPR. However, it is if the information has been obtained using tracking cookies when I'm on a website without my informed consent. Now, Rishi's email obviously goes on to say, please let me know if I can help you with anything. If you're looking for anything bespoke, we can do that too. Now, I'm sure they do a good range of furniture. I'm not going to get that far because I'm not going to be buying any furniture from Rishi because Rishi has obviously 
harvested my information, tracked me down and emailed me, my clerk and my wife personally without any consent whatsoever. Now data protection law is quite precarious. We've got the Data Protection Act of 2018. We've got the retained version for the UK of GDPR. That's the European Data Protection Regulations. We've also got PECA, no sniggling at the back there, which is Privacy and Electronic Communications Regulations. Now under Regulation 22, this governs the rules for electronic mail marketing, i.e. direct emails to you. Simply put, you must not send any electronic mail targeted to individuals unless either they've specifically consented to electronic mail from you, or they're an existing customer who has bought or negotiated to buy similar products or services from you in the past. And you've given these people a simple way to opt out when they first collect your information and in every message thereafter. Now, these regulations did not kill completely cold direct email marketing. But what it does do is provide for very tight regulations on how that information is collected and it must be collected in a specific way for a specific purpose and specific information given and consent obtained. Regulation 6 of PECA provides that a person shall not store or gain access to information stored in the terminal equipment of a subscriber or user unless the requirements of paragraph 2 are met. Now that bit is talking about cookies stored on a website. Paragraph 2, providing the requirements, the requirements are that the subscriber or user of that terminal equipment, A, is provided with clear and comprehensive information about the purposes of the storage or access to that information, and B, has given his or her consent. Now, when visiting this website of Rishi's, I did not provide my consent much less go ahead and search me up, research me, find out my clerk's email address, my wife's email address, and then email them to see whether they want to buy furniture as well. But it gets even better than that. Rishi did not just send the same email to my wife and to my clerk that he sent to me. He addressed the email in the name of my wife. So he obviously went to the company website or some other website to gain more information off the back of the information he collected about me without my consent when visiting the website and addressed it directly named to my wife. At the end of the day, it's entirely possible that Rishi believes that he's acting in the best interests of all concerned and he might have been informed that he's operating within compliance of GDPR. However, that's not the case because when I visit the website and was not given the information about the cookies very clearly and I certainly didn't consent to any processing of information via those cookies, for him to then take the information that the cookie has stored from my browsing to go and research me and my clerk and my wife and send each of us a personalized email, that I'm afraid Rishi is not compliant with GDPR and will certainly lose your business when approaching it in this way. I can't really think that anybody receiving an unsolicited email directly to you, your wife and your clerk or your assistant asking you whether you want to buy furniture because they've noticed with their tracking software that you've been on their website the day before. I really can't see anyone saying, yes, let's pick up the phone and order that furniture from this guy clearly a trustworthy, law-abiding and data protection, privacy respecting kind of guy. I can't really see that. So let me know what you think, whether I'm overreacting, whether you would be just a little bit annoyed, freaked out, possibly if you receive this email that was unsolicited to you, to your wife and so on. Let me know in the comments what you think. I know from the poll that at least half or so of you don't care. Maybe you'll change your mind if you think to yourself that every single website you're browsing, somebody might be storing those cookies, finding out where you work, your wife's name, your email address, and then the only thing that didn't happen is they send you a direct email unsolicited to your email addresses. As I say, my poll suggests half of you don't care. Perhaps you'll change your mind and the other half of you probably agree with me. So with that, please remember to like this video and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.